this is Steven and we're at Ride On Thousand Oaks right now. This is Mambo, old time ride on horse. And today we're gonna to be talking to you about common ailments and things to look for while you're grooming your horse and some basic treatments for them. And the first thing I wanna say about this is if whenever you find any of these ailments on a horse you're grooming while I ride on, just make sure you check in with an instructor here before you do any treatment. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is while we're grooming our horse with our curry, we're going around over their whole body, you wanna look for any fresh or open wounds. They'll probably be pretty obvious, but you just wanna make, make sure that you're looking for them. Being careful of any sensitive areas, such as the back of their leg right here where they have a lot of tendons, this area right here, and their face. Aside from those areas, while you're grooming them, you wanna to be touching them all over, and then also paying attention to their body language. If you're touching them in a certain place, and all of a sudden their ears go back, or they start getting restless all of a sudden or turning around trying to bite you, that could indicate that they're sore in that specific area. A common place for this would probably be the back. You're curing them on the back. He doesn't seem to mind at all. Just looking back, seeing what I'm doing. But also keep in mind that uh, there could be environmental factors that are also causing them to turn around or bite or get restless. There could be flies. They might, they might not like their neighbor next to them. So um, a common place that you're gonna find um, sores on a horse is in their girth area, right here where the girth touches their body. Um, and these are caused by not grooming your horse well before and after riding or having a dirty girth uh, that grime and dirt creates friction and rubbing and um, causes a sore so um, mambos have healed very well but he was the closest horse to having uh, girth sores that i could find another reason uh, that girth sores can occur is if the girth is too far forward so be careful of that Another place that horses will commonly have sores, on their back legs, on the hock, right here. You can kind of see some that have, have healed on Mambo. Um, and those are caused from horses laying down on hard surfaces for a long time. Prevention for hock sores is having shavings in their stall so they have a soft place to lay or laying in the back of their stall, which is softer. So after you find any of these wounds on your horse, I'm gonna show you how to treat them. Um, I found three products here that I like to use. First one is aluminum spray, and it's a spray can. You can spray it right on. Um, this is SWAT. It's a cream uh, that also has fly repellent in it, so it's good if there's a lot of flies out. And then this is just a pretty generic cream um, that you can use. And you'll find all of these in our tack room, which I'll show you later, in both barns, Thousand Oaks and Chatsworth. Um, so the first thing you want to do before you apply any of these things is take a clean, wet towel. And you're going to wipe down the area. You're going to clean the full area very gently where the sore is. Once it's nice and clean, you're going to take your ointment and you're going to generously apply it all over the area and the main thing that you want to do with this is cover the area and create a barrier um, you would do that to anywhere that they have sword and we'll show you the spray so same thing here you're gonna wipe the area down and then you're gonna take the spray and you're gonna spray it right on the area, creating a barrier. Uh, one more thing about um, girth sores is that if, if we do find them and they're and it's bad, then the horse will have to be worked without a saddle 
until it heals. Um, so the next thing we're going to talk about is the hooves, which is a very, very important part of grooming. One of the common issues with hooves is thrush. Thrush is a bacterial infection uh, that is caused by a horse being in a wet environment for too long. Um, and the, the prevention for thrush is cleaning the hooves out very well and keeping the hooves dry. Uh, you'll know that, that a horse has thrush if uh, you're picking the hooves and it smells really bad. It's a distinct bad smell that every person that works with horses knows and can recognize pretty quickly. Um, another sign is that there's white and black discharge. So first I'm looking, I don't see any rocks, so that's good. We're just really gonna wanna get out all this mud, manure. And you know what, I'm not smelling anything. And then especially in this frog area, you wanna make sure you remove all of the dirt, the manure. And then you can see some of the white discharge that I was talking about right there and some black too. So after you've cleaned the hooves out really well and if you do find that there's a lot of thrush, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is apply a little bit of a treatment. Thrush Buster, which is very common, and a bleach water mixture in a spray bottle. And you're gonna apply them both pretty much the same, just squirt, clean the hoof out very well first, otherwise it's not gonna do anything. And then apply the treatment to the, to the affected area. And then squirt it especially into the frog and then any other affected areas. Uh, another thing you want to look for when you're picking the hooves is you want to make sure that the horse is not missing a horseshoe. They should have a horseshoe on each side. Uh, commonly a horse will have horseshoes on just the front. The horse has a shoe just on one side and not the other and that's a sure indication that they're missing a horseshoe and then the farrier will have to be called out for that. Well we're here with Dante and our new horse Nikita uh, who's on trial in Thousand Oaks right now. And um, the next thing we're going to talk about is swollen legs. A swollen leg can be a cause of a really hard workout, or it can be from the horse kicking the stall. For the uh, knees and legs in front, you want to get down and you want to compare them side to side and make sure one's not bigger than the other. Um, you can come next to them. You can rub your hands along both of them and see if they feel the same or if one feels different. And then also you want to look at the, their tendons in their legs. And on a horse that's not swollen, um, we'll use Nikita as this example. And you can see a lot of definition in her tendons. Hopefully you can see that on camera. There's a lot of definition. You see all the ridges and bumps and tendons there. Dante is going to be an example of a horse who looks swollen because their whole, his whole back area right here is just smooth. There's no defined tendons in the area. For the back legs, you can stand back behind them and you compare them side to side and make sure that one's not bigger than the other. If they're swollen on one side, that's going to be an indication that they probably kick something. And if they're swollen on both sides equally, that is probably an indication of a hard workout. And treatment for swollen legs is going to be um, taking a hose with cold water and running it over their leg for 10 minutes. Also a standing wrap, uh, which is going to be a, a pillow sheet that you wrap on to them to create some pressure and compression to help keep the swelling down. Um, and then rest. Now we're in the tack room in Thousand Oaks and I just wanted to show you where you can find these treatments that I talked about in the video. Um, all of the first aid creams um, and ointments are gonna be on this shelf marked first aid and then all of the hoof care Thrush treatments are going to be right here. In Chatsworth, uh, they're going to be located on a shelf in the back to the left of the saddle pads. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, feel free to 
uh, email me at steven at rideon.org or ask any of the instructors at rideon. All right, thank you.